Today, Denon announced a new piece of hardware, the Denon Prime 4, which is a standalone DJ system with a killer feature set. And in this video, I'm going to show you how Denon is using customer feedback to solve your DJ problems. Denon's new beast is a four deck standalone DJ system, that is, no laptop required, which is so loaded full of features that it nearly makes my head spin. First, let's just start with the basics. It features a massive adjustable 10 inch HD display which supports multi touch gestures, rugged metal construction including the six inch jog wheels, four assignable inputs for connecting media players or turntables, two dedicated XLR mic inputs with individual control, eight performance trigger pads per side, and a suite of effects taken straight from Denon's flagship mixer, the X1800 Prime. Now all of that's a great starting point, but that's only the beginning. Denon's giving us oh so much more to talk about with this new unit, so let's start out by talking about media sources. Now like I already mentioned, the Prime 4 can play music from external sources like turntables, but of course being a standalone DJ system, it can also play music straight from USB or more specifically, from one of its four USB inputs. There's two of them around the back of the unit and two of them on top. And you can also play from an SD card. If you're the kind of DJ that keeps your library across multiple sources, this is quite a welcome feature. But it doesn't stop there. This thing actually has an internal slot for a two and a half inch SATA drive, meaning that you can actually put a laptop drive inside this unit and keep your library with you and you don't even need to plug in a USB stick. My internal nerd is jumping for joy. All these storage options can be well utilized considering that the Prime 4 is able to play uncompressed music such as FLAC, ALAC, or you know straight up WAV files and you can use any one of these sources to record your DJ sets. So let's think about this. You could be DJing using your internal hard drive plus a thumb drive with the latest tunes you just downloaded in a B2B set with two friends who brought their own thumb drives, record that entire set to an SD card, and still have a leftover USB port. Incredible. Plus, using Denon's Engine Prime music management system, you can import digital collections effortlessly from iTunes, Serato DJ Pro, Tractor Pro, and Rekordbox. Engine will import existing playlists, folders, hotcues, and loop information from those libraries, and can be done from Denon's free software or from the Prime 4 itself. The device will internally analyze music data with no laptop needed. But Denon also states that integrated support for Traktor is already available. Presumably you can use this as a controller using Traktor software, and that Serato DJ Pro integration is also coming down the pike. So now let's talk about visual feedback. Now first, that 10 inch touchscreen. It's got an adjustable angle, ensuring that you can see it comfortably and in any lighting situation. Now from this screen, you can select tracks, view vertical waveforms, and interact with your music collection using multi-touch gestures. According to Denon, it's the touchscreen experience you expect and deserve. But if you're not a fan of using touchscreens, don't fret. Now remember that scenario earlier where we talked about the B2B set and having all those USB ports and still having one left over? What might you want to use that for? Well, it actually lets you plug in a USB keyboard like this one, and you can use a full QWERTY keyboard to actually search through your track library. Once again, my inner geek is thrilled. As somebody who types 100 words per minute, I can see that being very valuable to me. Hashtag humble brag. Now the platters themselves also have integrated HD screens, which is similar to the Denon SC5000 Prime players or this Pioneer DDJ-1000. Now that central screen can give you performance information or can be used to display, say, a DJ logo or the album artwork for the track you're playing. Those touch capacitive platters also feature an RGB light ring which is customizable so you can change the color to your personal preference. Now speaking of displays, those effects I mentioned earlier also have their very own tiny dedicated screens. And, of course, the Prime 4 also features dedicated single knob sweep effects, which gives you easy access to things like high and low pass filters. Now, for those who are really wanting to go pro, the unit also uses a connection which Denon calls Stage Link, which allows you to bring dynamic visuals, video scenes, and other outside effects to your performances. Now, this is made possible through partnerships that Denon has with uh, SoundSwitch, Timecode, and Resolume. 
Now video links to help you understand the way these systems work are linked in the description below, but here are the basics. Stage link is a network protocol. Now each stage link enabled player is connected via ethernet cable to a hub and then piped via a single cable to the front of house. Those connected devices will immediately show up in the interface for those running the visuals, say a VJ, which will then give them loads of information such as what the DJ is playing, the album artwork, tempo information, and more. This makes it possible for those behind the stage to do really interesting things with visuals such as do video transitions at the same exact time the DJ is fading from track A to B, have video scratching in perfect sync with the jog wheel movements, or otherwise trigger scripted events. Finally, one more really cool feature of the Denon Prime 4 is its inclusion of an independent zone output. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you look at the back of the unit, there's actually a zone out. And what that is, is a separate set of XLR outputs that have a different output than your main out. And you can assign any particular channel on the mixer to that zone output, which lets you actually basically DJ two rooms at once. So if you have one main room where there's like a nightclub situation, but maybe there's another room off to the side where there's like a chill out area or a restaurant or just an um, entrance or a foyer or something like that, you can actually control that separately with separate volume controls, a two band EQ, and uh, then you can actually have it auto play through a playlist if you want, which kind of gives you control over that other zone without having to really completely focus on that and you can still do your performance. So this might be great for uh, mobile DJs or for bar DJs where the manager wants different music happening in different rooms but there's only one place to control it. This gives you all the control in the world to do that. Pretty neat. So as you can see, the Prime 4 packs quite a punch. Now if you think that this might be the DJ system for you, I recommend that you place an order through our friends at thedjhookup.com. Now the DJ Hookup offers great incentives for DJs including free shipping, a best price guarantee where they'll match any authorized dealer's price and beat it by 10%, a 90 day return policy, the option of an extended warranty beyond the one offered by the manufacturer, and zero down, zero percent financing for those who qualify. Not only that, but they also hold the honor of being the highest customer rated DJ equipment dealer online for the third year in a row. So what are my final thoughts on this announcement? Well, color me impressed. I mean, this is quite an impressive piece of hardware from Denon and really shows their dedication to taking their big share of the DJ market like they're trying to do. This thing offers a little bit of something for everybody. It's a four channel mixer, a uh, standalone, which is great. Plus you can connect turntables and everything to it. So it's basically everything that you need right there in the box. It has a plethora of media input options, uh, recording options. You can even put an internal hard drive in it. I mean, that's amazing. Denon says it's got a metal chassis and jog wheels and is up to the task for mobile DJs who need to move this thing around. And it weighs under 22 pounds. It's really not a bad deal. Now with NAM only a few weeks away, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of this thing in the days and weeks to come. So stay tuned for more of that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the Passionate DJ podcast, which is a weekly talk show dedicated to the art and science of mixing music, where together we're becoming better DJs through passion and purpose. See you soon.